Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries signs. So I'll tip you on down here so we can see your cards fall out. All right, Aries, your first, um, your energy coming out in the read is temperance. The person you are dealing with is the Four of Cups in reverse. The energy for the connection. Energy is coming in for Aries. The Ten of Cups. Amazing. All right. Spirit's advice for this connection. Wow. All right. The Sun. Justice, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Bottom of the deck energy is Judgment, clarified with the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Long term, or er, yeah, long term outcome, the Ace of Swords, being awoke to this connection. So, Somebody is coming back to give you a second chance or you're going back to give someone else a second chance. This is a decision from the divine that this connection um, could come back together again. It broke your heart in the um, when this person left originally or you broke their heart. But they are coming back very slowly, but they are coming back. Leaving that heartache in the past um, and coming forward with a new offer. All right, like I said, your energy is temperance. You've been very patient in this connection, Aries. Really focusing on yourself, your own well-being. Wow. Gaining your stability, your strength, your passion, your love of life. Um, ready for this new beginning. Ready to take that leap of faith. Just waiting for your person's return. You've really been in your element for quite some time, Aries. Um, just working on healing so you can help heal your person when they return. <clears throat> the person that um, walked away from you wasn't seeing what the universe had to offer uh, or what you had to offer, what the universe was trying to show them. Um, it took them a long time to wake up and see what this was that you were um, offering to them, but the wake up call was heard and now they are seeing um, the connection for what it is. This is a, a divine partner, soulmate, twin flame, however you want to look at it. Um, with temperance being the first card out and judgment being in the shared energy. Wow. They now see how big of cup that you are offering. They now see that a third party isn't going to do it, that they need the whole damn cup. And they're seeing just what that cup has inside for them. And they are moving in your direction. The energy coming in for this connection is just a beautiful, beautiful connection. Lots of happiness, lots of joy, lots of memories being made, I'm seeing. Um, this comes after a transformation, or this comes in the time of Scorpio, which is October 23rd to November 21st. Um, whichever one, um, both have to happen. The transformation, the purging of the old the purging of the heavy, the the burdens that are not yours. Um, this is for your person as well. But this separation had to happen. This heartache, this truly triggered your spiritual awakening. Um, the two of you came together to um, ignite, you know, the Kundalini awakening, the uh, to ignite the connection once again in this lifetime. When they left, it broke your heart, and you truly that is when you woke up. That is what. Um, made your, or that's what uh, caused your spiritual awakening, caused you to go in soul deep, to rebuild your life from the ground up, and now you are the best possible version of yourself that you have ever been in this lifetime. So this heartache had to happen, and that's what this transformation is all about. Now your person needs to go through this transformation as well, purging out any energy and 
their life that is heavy, burdensome, but when they do, the energy coming in for you guys is amazing. 10 weeks or the time of Scorpio, um, it puts us about the same time period. So um, amazing. Finally seeing what this offer is um, in, the, in the, the big picture of things. In Spirit's advice, it is to step into the path that you're meant to take to um, do what it is that you truly want to do. For most of you, this is for your person. They're scared to step into their path. They're scared to get a divorce. They're scared of the repercussions or the aftermath of divorcing their other person. Um, but this is to let you know the sun is here to guide you. It's here to illuminate um, which steps need to be taken. You just have to be quiet enough to hear them. Um, but this is, this is so much about... Um, finding each other on the path again. Spirit's advice is also to cut out um, any extra parties, to live in your truth and balance your karma. Um, and I do see them um, seeing the way out of a marriage or long-term commitment where they have to divide the assets through a court system because I do see this in court. Why is the sun in justice here? Could be dealing with a uh, earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, bottom of the deck is lovers, wow, and success, look at that, so your person, um, Aries, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like I said, could be Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces, we got fire here, um, that's it, no air, but this person had a choice to make, they weren't seeing your option as, or your offer as an option in the beginning. Now they see it. Now they want it. Now they have to have it. They are coming to you very slowly, but this person, um, they were financially stable. They could have been relying on someone else for their financial stability. So they feared, um, they feared this divorce. They feared this separation, but they are finally making the choice and they are choosing you, Aries, and closing a major life cycle with a spouse or a long-term lover, stepping into the path they're meant to take, stepping into their soul's purpose, and stepping into the sun's shine with you. In the time of Leo, Aries, um, they are moving forward. Um, I do see this coming into like a full union in the time of Scorpio, if not before, but the choice is being made and they are moving towards you. That is a whole lot of major arcana right there. In your outcome, you have the Two of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So somebody, whoever was juggling, needs to set down that other option, needs to uh, put down the burdens of their other relationship, their other responsibilities, and know that they can um, still fulfill what their responsibilities are, but from under a different roof. There is a lot of stress going on in their mind, a lot of thoughts racing through their head, not sure what to do, but it is becoming very clear to them in the time of Leo what they need to do and the path of action to get there. Why is the two of why is the two of cups here? Why is the two of cups here for the outcome? This is most definitely your soulmate twin flame. We have temperance lovers and the two of cups here, the ace of cups, the ten of cups, judgment, the sun. It doesn't get much better than this, Aries. This is an awful lot of cards to take. So I am going to take the one that flipped out alone. We'll get one more to make sure that was the one that was meant to come out. Why is a fool here? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, um, like I said, this is your other half. Your perfect, um, in your eyes, your perfect mate. Somebody that you want to share your cup in exchange with for the rest of your time. You are going to take that leap of faith. You are going to get that opportunity to take that leap of faith with this person because you are manifesting this into your life, into the 3D. They are going to walk away from another situation that has emotionally drained them, but right now you are in a delay. This has to happen because this is when they are getting that enlightenment. This is when they are realizing what this is. This is when they're hearing the wake up call. So this has to happen, but... Aries, have no fear. It is leading to you. They are walking away from their other person and walking right to you. So stay confident. Stay um, in control of your emotions, your life, your business. Um, just keep that 
work love life balance going the way you are because this is leading into a beautiful beautiful connection um with one that's going to bring you stability happiness i mean so many major arcana here aries just to name a few right there then we got the emperor the fool the magician the hanged man let me see how many are here exactly. Okay, so Aries, you're going through a huge transformation, a big change, and so is your person or your, or your partner. You have two court cards, but when they return to you, Aries, they're going to be of equal vibration to you. So the two of you will not deflect each other because in the twin flame um, connection, if one is a higher vibration, they, they bounce off each other. It'll separate until they can come at each other of equal vibration. So right now, they're just the knight, but they're working up to the king during this hanged man, during this delay. So we got two court cards. One ten, or two tens, new beginnings, an ace, the two of cups, and then we got, in your shared energy, judgment, the wake up call, going after that cup. In your energy coming towards you, you have death. You went through a huge transformation and your person is at the moment. In the outcome, hanged man, delay, because they need time to go through this transformation. In the outcome, magician, you are manifesting this. You're very powerful right now. In the outcome, the fool and the emperor, you're both here in the upright, um, taking a leap of faith and a new beginning with your divine masculine or divine feminine. Um, in spirit's advice, um, a major life cycle is going to come to an end with whoever, which one of you has the spouse or long-term uh, person. And this is somebody that the court would have to divide the assets because I am seeing this in court because true love always wins. When you follow your heart, when you step into your path, when you have the balance in and out of your, like in your life, in every area of your life, you're finding balance, stepping into your soul's purpose and love conquering all. This is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations, Aries. It's finally coming in for you. I do feel this group of you that it is resonating with either an earth sign, another fire sign, a Libra, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. Yeah, another Aries. If this resonates with you guys, you most definitely are on this next wave of union that's coming in in the time of Leo. So congratulations. I send you much love and God bless.